You. Come here. Shh. Welcome back to Kimchi Studios. And today, I have some secrets to reveal. But it's just going to be between you and me, okay? All right, now I got the purple background. I'm ready to talk about 3D printing. Every 3D printable that I've designed has always surprised me in becoming useful in ways that I never thought possible. Most of the time, they are very practical and they end up helping me out around the house throughout the day, often coming in the form of happy accidents. For the next few minutes, we're going to quickly go over five of these 3D printables that I have designed over the past few years and how they're being used for purposes they were never intended for. If anything, I hope you find this entertaining and get your creative thoughts flowing because that is the main focus here on this channel. I want you to develop your inner artist to discover the creativity that lies within you. Now being self-taught artists, I always highly recommend the use of 3D printers to get your concepts out there quickly. As always, you can find the links to all of the tools that I use and my original 3D printables in the description below. All right, let's get to it and get you on your way to my next video that is. Number one, my tribute to Warhammer 40K memes. That's right, it's my largely unpopular Adeptus Mechanicus medallion. Now I was blown away by what I was able to do with this. Again, I do these sculpts in VR, it works for me. If you wanna try that out and you need an affordable headset, I always have one linked in the description below. While the medallion was fun to design and paint, I was surprised when my desk was cluttered and I was trying to watch a video on it. I set my phone down and grabbed the closest thing that I thought might work, which happened to be the stand on the medallion. I talked talked about how I went about designing this stand and making sure it was completely flat a few videos ago. Go ahead and check that out. I could use a few more views on that one if you got a few minutes. Now I couldn't believe it when it held it in place perfectly vertically. Not only that, but it was at that perfect slightly upward angle for someone looking down at the desk. Again, happy to see that it was just as good and it held it in place extremely well. A happy accident for sure. Later, I found myself grabbing the stand for books to display like these Christmas themed ones, framed pictures, and it even functions better because the ones included on the backs of most picture frames today are very weak and flimsy. So this is a nice cheap little upgrade. I also ended up using this handy stand to hold up a mirror. Again, it's at that perfect upward angle so I can talk to myself hours on end. I just don't understand. I think you're worth four million. Take that to the bank. So if you have anything around the house that needs a little stand like this, head on over to my Colts 3D page where you can download it. I think you'll be surprised. And remember, with your own 3D printer, you can print as many of these around the house as you need. Coming in at number two is, of course, the ugliest thing that I have ever designed that turned out to be the most beautiful combination of VR sculpture and functional gadget. It's my recent Halloween Goblin candy dispenser. Again, I did a video on that very recently. Go and check that out. Not only does it dispense candy for Halloween, but it functions quite well as an aluminum can holder for your favorite cold bubbly beverage throughout the year. Ah. Just in time for insert relevant sports ball reference here. But wait, there's more. Remember how I showed you its ability to dispense waves of Skittles and M&M sized candies? Well, it also dishes out D's nuts during the game as well. Score. Wait, you think that's all? No, 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 no. It also holds your Harry Potter wand, being a goblin and all. Your pencil, chopstick, Slim Jim, coffee and bubble tea straws, and so much more. Not only that, it may even scare those thieves away with its charming good looks. Coming in at number three is my most cursed and haunted design. This is also one of my Halloween printables that I came out with this year. It's my angry, greedy, whittle ghost candy bucket. I actually used this to hold the candy when I gave it out this year in my neighborhood, and people thought it was pretty cute. I also dropped some lights in it and then put it on the, the front lawn. It looked pretty cool. After Halloween, I relieved this thing of its remaining loot and proceeded to pack on five pounds. I think my face is still puffy from all those three musketeers. These days, I'm using it as a popcorn bucket. Don't worry, I know he tends to spit it out of his mouth. That's actually for the dogs. I am so kind. Did I mention it could also function as a tip jar? There's the money I made carving pumpkins this year. You probably missed that video. That's okay. I'm used to no one listening. You don't want to miss out on my story of how VR sculpting with programs like Shape Lab taught me not only how to carve pumpkins for profit, but they taught me how to draw. That's right, there's three videos for you to check out. By the way, the tip jar is now empty and Christmas is coming. 
head on over to my Colts 3D page and subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, maybe I should just start streaming games for a living, you know, or doing political drama news. Coming in at number four is my favorite design I made in CAD. I love talking about it because not only does it act as a chameleon and adapt to probably any Meta Quest series controller acting as a holster for them, it also holds your phone with a squishy retention tongue while you game or sculpt. And it's hidden uses that it holds your controllers and phone in a cute fashion on your desk. When you're ready to game, simply buckle up and you're ready to go. By the way, did I mention you can also hold a bag of chips? Hold up. Wait a minute, would you look at that? Go hands-free with up to two ice cream cones. You will become the ultimate host at your next party, guaranteed. Everyone will be grabbing for two scoops all night. How about you? Double chunk chocolate cookie? Coming in at number five is one of my earlier designs, something that I woke up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and had an idea for. On God, no cap, not gonna lie. I started working on them right away as I was teaching myself CAD. It's a bit of a sentimental, cherished memory of mine and a pivotal moment in my self-taught artistic design slash 3D modeling career. Remember, I never went to school for any of this. I can't even draw. Well, I couldn't. It's my emoji coaster set that nobody wants. But wait, you can have this. That's right, follow those links in the description and you can print them today. You need a quick gift, you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, just print a bunch of these out. They even come with a few ergonomic cases. Or throw it in somebody's stocking, I'm sure they'll be impressed. Oh, you know what? I think my coffee even tastes a little bit better. But the best part other than having an early morning cope sesh over your favorite hot steaming beverage is the fact that they function as excellent ninja throwing discs. <laughs> All right, that wraps up the hidden uses of my original 3D printable designs that I have made over the years. Again, links to everything in the description as always. I hope this was an eye-opening, if not an entertaining video for you. Remember, we are self-taught artists here on this art channel, not a 3D printing channel. I never thought I would be able to achieve this level of creativity and to be able to make money with actual physical art in the real world. And I just want to share with you all some of my techniques, my approaches, my thought processes, and I'm extremely excited for the next couple of months here on this channel. You know, I really feel like we finally hit our groove here on this channel. And now we're about to get our hands messy in resin. That is check out my other videos on how you can unlock your creativity and how I go about designing my 3d printables. Thanks for watching. But don't go anywhere. I need to see you in the next video. Let's rock and roll, man.